I've always been a believer that the truth comes out at the end. It will here. Um, I think we're winning it. If we have a fair system, this thing will be over very, very soon, and I, uh, I, I hope we're afforded the same level of fairness that anybody else that didn't wear the Trump name would have. Eric was on the witness stand for nearly an hour today where he stated that he signed three financial certifications to lenders which relied on his father's statements of financial condition. He repeatedly said he believed these certifications were accurate based on the input of family lawyers and financial advisors. Meanwhile, look at this headline. A Breitbart report states that the top clerk for the judge presiding over this case has allegedly violated judicial rules by making, quote, excessive political donations. Interesting. A complaint has been filed for the clerk, Allison Greenfield, to be disbarred, as Bob mentioned. But the focus now turns to Monday, where the former president will take the witness stand. Joining us now to discuss is former New Jersey Superior Court Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, always great to have you. Uh, looking ahead to Monday, what do you anticipate from former President Trump when he takes the stand, A, and B, should he take the stand? Well, I'll answer B first, Katrina. Okay. He doesn't have an option not to take uh -huh. the stand. You may say, well, what about the Fifth Amendment right the, not to be compelled to incriminate yourself? That only pertains in criminal cases. Remember, he is not taking the stand here as a witness for his side. He is being called against his will. This has already been tested in the appellate courts in New York. He is being called against his will by the government as a government witness. Now, what will we see? Well, you'll probably see a very combative Donald Trump. This is the first time, as far as, uh, as I know, that he has testified in public under oath in a trial where he is a, a defendant, certainly since he's been president of the United States. So I know that there will be four people in that courtroom who have nothing to do with this case. And they will be the chief prosecutors in the New York prosecution, the Georgia prosecution, the Florida prosecution, and the DC prosecution to see how well he does. What does he have to do? He has to attempt to persuade this trial judge. Remember, there's no jury here, Katrina and Bob. He has to persuade this trial judge that he innocently signed off on documents that were prepared by his lawyers uh, and accountants. It's not going to be easy because the judge has already proved or the judge has already ruled that the deception orchestrated by the former president was palpable and was there. Judge, I feel like a lot of the country is looking at this as like this case is already closed. The judge, there's no trial or a jury here. The judge is making the decision. You just hit on it. Expand on it for us. Is there any way that Trump could sway this Judge Engeron's hmm. mind at this point? Is it even possible? Well, he here's how he can. Uh, Donald Trump is very good when it comes to numbers. So the government claims that the Trump organization earned excess profits as a result of giving the wrong information to the bank and getting low interest loans. Donald Trump probably understands the books and records of the Trump organization well enough to demonstrate to the judge out of the former president's own mouth that these profits weren't nearly what the government says they were. The argument that nobody lost any money we didn't do this intentionally. We didn't harm anybody. Nobody sued us. That's water uh, over the dam be because the judge has already ruled that they engaged in fraud. Mm -hmm. So the only issue here is how much money should be extracted from them. That's where Trump ha personally has the strength here. And that's what his own lawyers will go to when they cross-examine their own client, the former president, after the government finishes with him. Judge, we're almost out of time, but quickly, once this civil trial is over, based on the testimony from uh, Donald Trump or any of his children, could there be any way that this then is attempted to be retried or tried differently as a uh, criminal trial? Very good question. The government has been probing Donald Jr., Eric, and it will the former president to see if any of the deception that Justice Engeron said they participated in was criminal, was knowing and intentional. And if it is, the statute of limitations is seven years. Bad news. They could still be indicted. Hmm.
Judge, wish we could talk more. There's plenty of questions here. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Very interesting. Great analysis as always. Judge Andrew Napolitano, thanks for coming on, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Bob and Katrina. A pleasure.